There we go. Welcome to Wickerson Studios. Michael Wickerson here. We're going to cover what it takes to set up um, the Hop server. And I'm going to use Anaconda so you can get scripting uh, with Python and all the libraries of Python 3.0 for what you want to do. And I've, I've moved to pretty advanced scripts here going through pandas, NumPy, machine learning, data, algorithms, but they're all dependent on the Python 3.0 libraries. So what I'm going to do just turn my volume down a bit so I'm not double hearing myself. Um, what you do to start is you could go in and drop a couple of bucks and get all my research and then everything's kind of there. So if you clicked in, you'd see, and this is optional because you don't have to do this. You can watch my videos and write your own scripts. Um, but I do provide you with uh, the GH scripts that pair with the Python apps for learning any of these things. There's a little bit of instructions in here of what you need to do basically uh, getting it up and running and uh, with Visual Studio Code. Uh, sometimes I, pro I provide those instructions here in this text download. But what I'm basically telling you to do is what I'm going to show you here. First and foremost, you want to go to this site. Uh, it's the 2022 AEC conference where they were talking about how to set up what are the dependencies. You'll have to have Visual Studio Code. You'll want to have C Python 3.10 uh, at least or higher. Um, you'll have to have Flask is optional. That's what I end up using. And then uh, for our apps, you'll need Flask. And then you want to clone the repo, which is at this site. And so you'll go, you'll type in GitHub, um, you know, you'll get something here. Here's the 3D clients and it'll send you over to the GitHub page on Rhino Compute. So when you go to McNeil's, you want to jump in here. You want to go to Rhino Compute. Um, you want to copy that entire script. You want to just hit clone and put it on your desktop or put it somewhere that you know on your computer and you're done. You don't need any more. And that's exactly the same as going in and grabbing my apps. Um, but mine are not all this information. So if you go under source, it'll open up and you'll see all of these wonderful things. And what you want is that JHOP server. And that's not an underscore, that's a dash there, but the underscore is what you end up having to type in. So that's just, let me zoom in a little bit to show you that. Um, you click on that and basically in the examples, you get the example to start. I'm not going to use the uh, Rhino inside. I'm not going to use the HTML, HTTP version. I'm going to use the app. And that is going to open for you this. And this is basically what I give you. Sometimes I give you this boilerplate of how things are running and how to write your own scripts right here and now. Uh, that's in everything that I send you. And I usually don't call it out lately with the pandas and the physics app that I've been writing. I've been leaving it out because I'm pretty familiar with how to uh, get this up and running. And you might even notice there's some, actually, I think they're missing a lot of uh, access parameters here. So I think mine are a little more prepped and I definitely have more imports as we go. But that's basically how you can bring it in and just have one to go. Um, the other thing to do is go to my site, find the one that you're of interest of. I have plenty here. I'm getting rid of the whole bundle. Uh, all the advanced bundles are actually available on GitHub, um, but you can also get the entire package. And I've just marked it down to like fractions of a penny per, per script. And, and this is like just this one alone is over 6,000 lines of code uh, that'll run hundreds and hundreds of functions of NumPy into Grasshopper. What you do with that is your own business. My goal is to go from here to pandas and then more diligently than I was doing earlier uh, into psychic learn and then really get deep into probabilities and machine learning and and starting to visualize away from matplot library into grasshopper 3d in the rhino environment that is my goal not a lot of people get that but that's what I'm moving to slow and steady and every you know journey starts with a one step and that's what I'm doing um, so when you get that download and you decide that's what you want we can leave that you're going to open rhino uh, you're going to open uh, Grasshopper and you're ready to go, but you want to open some of those files. The other dependencies are you have to open uh, PowerShell. You don't have to use PowerShell, but I use it. You want to launch that. It will launch something very similar to here. And what you'll have to go in there and type is GH. Sorry, you'll have to pip uh, install uh, GH hops underscore server and you want Flask. I think that's it and that should load it and you're up and ready. You're totally fine. As long as all your dependencies are also installed on your computer, you should be fine. This comes up because as I'm in Rhino, um, what I'm doing in Rhino here, I think under preferences as I've unclicked hide Rhino compute console and uh, you can also launch uh, Rhino compute upon start. You might have to clear some of these cache memories as you go, but you're basically ready to start. Um, 
you will want to open a Visual Studio Code. And immediately, if you've downloaded one of my uh, packages or you want to just open the samples that are on the online site uh, from Rhino Compute, you can do that. But you're basically going in here, you're going to open a folder and I'm going to choose um, on my desktops because that's where I'm working on one currently. I'm going to choose all of the pandas um, and I'm going to select that folder and I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to take a look at the app and get it up and running. You'll see I'm already well into writing it. And you're set to just add to this. The only thing you'll have to do is I have GitHub Copilot running. You don't have to put that on as extension. If you're a very good coder, you won't require it. But at the speed at which I'm writing this with AI out of textbooks, you might want to do that. And the other thing you'll want to do is open a terminal and set new terminal down below. Get rid of your debug terminal. You're ready to run, and you'll see that I've I've taken off all those initial steps, but I maintain everything from the hops flask middleware example through the welcome to grasshopper for hops python, and then I also retain the data at the end, which is if name equals the main, then you're going to app run and debug true, and everything in between has been written with basically GitHub Copilot, a little bit of guidance. I make these large uh, frameworks for you to kind of know what's going on. You see my import libraries, and we literally are telling it in comments what to do and you're writing endless scripts. The other thing you'll want to do and you won't get um, because this has to run to something is something ready to go. So we don't really need to look at the Rhino window right now. So you can tuck it down there. You want to go file and open. And once again, go to your pan, uh, go to your wherever you've downloaded, whatever you're working on, the hops. And I've got the um, getting started with Pandas 101, which is a massive document that I've completed. And there's a lot of data in there ready to run all for you. And then the other one is open um, Pandas 2, which is the one I'm working on now. And we'll just frame that up and you'll see that I'm working on getting starting with Pandas. We'll go down to the end of my script. We'll see we're generating that. And as I write the comments in here, I want to have good documentation as I finish up uh, the FF or F fill information as I'm processing here as data, I'm ready to write additional ones. And so you're back in your book for guidance, you're back into online, or you can literally just start topping a comment and see what it wants to give you. So and there it is, it wants to do a fill method, backward fills the values. So B fill is something that's not in my book, but I could go there, it will write it into a hops component and you're off and running and it knows the form of what you want. The more you prime this with access and what your inputs are, the more the program writes itself. This is absolutely incredible. And I wasn't intending on doing bfill uh, because that wasn't there. I was going to go into other functions, but I think I might keep with that. Periodically save. You have to run with F5 and then over here you want to save every once in a while and I'm doing all the debugging for you. So another 10 minutes, a guide to getting up and running with um, uh, hops, JH hops server in Rhino and get you at lightning speed of what you may end up doing. And I'm very excited about this whole project. Uh, it's something I've been working on for maybe a year. Uh, last summer I started it and I'm deep into pandas. I'm writing libraries on calculus. I'm writing it on trigonometry. I'm writing it on physics. I'm writing on anything that interests me at the library and I'll be back into machine learning new enough, uh, soon enough with probabilities. So that's it in a nutshell. If you want to download anything, just go to type it on the side comments and even though it won't come up, for those that are here and Wickerson there, and I've got everything uh, pretty much distributing five years of work, but the last years of work's really packed in there as advanced scripts. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to turn off the stream, record this, and send it out. Actually, I'll stay live here. I'm just going to take off my recorded stream video. Give me one second. Stop.